Hey guys, it's Thunder Splash, and in this episode, we're going to be talking about how to make an underwater effect in Unreal Engine 5. Alright, let's get into it. Alright, first thing we're going to do is we're going to right click, look for material, and we're going to name it Water. After that, we're going to open it up. We're going to go to Material Domain and change it to Post Process. Then we're going to right click and look for text coordinate. After that, we're going to open up a parameter and relabel it to texture UV. Next, we'll change the default value to one. After that, we'll add another parameter and we're going to name it Panner X. Next, we'll add one more parameter and name it Panner Y. Right click, look for amend, and connect A to X Panner and B to Y Panner. After that, we'll add multiply and we'll connect A to text coordinate and B to texture UV. After that, we're going to look for a panner. We'll connect the coordinate to multiply and the speed to append. After that, we're going to right click, look for a texture sample. Connect the coordinate, select texture sample, and for the texture, we'll look for water underscore in. After that, we'll right click and look for a component mask. Then after that, we'll add another parameter and we'll label it intensity. We're gonna change the default value to one. After that, we're going to add another parameter, label it power, and change the default value to 2. After that, we'll look for multiply, and we'll connect A to component mask, and B to intensity. Next, we'll right click, look for power. After that, we'll connect the base power to multiply. And then we'll connect the EXP to the power parameter. After that, right click, look for text coordinate. Next, we'll look for add. We'll connect A to text coordinate and B to power. After that, we're gonna right click, look for scene texture. And for the scene texture ID, we're going to change it to post process input zero. After that, we're going to connect add to UVs. Next, we'll right click on color and we'll look for component mask. Next, we'll unclick the G. Right click on color again, look for component mask. And this time, we're going to make sure B is selected. And then we'll add another multiply. We'll connect this one to B. Next, we'll right click, look for a switch parameter. Rename it to single color. And 
And then we're gonna connect this one to false, and we'll connect the multiply to true. After that, we'll look for a constant three vector. And then we're gonna convert it to a parameter. Rename it to color. Double click here. And now we're gonna adjust the color to something that looks like the ocean. After that, we'll connect the color to multiply A. And then after that, we'll connect this single color to emissive color. All right, after that, we're gonna open up third person character blueprint. Then we're gonna look for post process. After that, we'll go to post process volume. Look for rendering features. Look for post process materials and add an array. Next, we're gonna go back to water material. And we're gonna create a material instance. And then we're gonna open up third person character. After that, we're going to go to post process. And then we're going to add an array. And we're going to look for water instance. Once we've done that, we're going to open up the water instance. After that, we're going to click on the parameter values. And at this point, we're just going to adjust it until we get the look we're going for. All right, so I'm going to press play so I can adjust it real time. And now I'm going to keep messing around with it until I can find the settings I really want. Alright guys, now you have it. Underwater effects in Unreal Engine 5. Hey guys, if you like these type of videos, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell, share this video, and I'll see y'all in the next video. Later.